Okay guys, so we talked about the color settings within Photoshop, right? Well, now it's time to talk about the color settings within Lightroom and Camera Raw. So let's start with Camera Raw, because it's closer to Photoshop. Uh, I have here an image which is a DNG file, essentially a RAW file converted to Adobe Digital Negative file, DNG. So it's pretty much the same thing as a RAW file, uh, only in a different package. The original data is the same. Well, it says untagged RGB, right? In other words, Whenever time you're working with RAW files, they don't have an assigned color profile. So that's one important thing to consider. There's no color profile into it. Now, the thing that you see here now, that's a preview. A preview which was done by the camera or by whatever application you used. So it's basically an embedded preview within the RAW file. And that embedded preview can be based on Adobe RGB, sRGB or some other way but the original data within the image, original raw data doesn't have a assigned color profile not yet anyway, we have to convert it we have to assign that and uh, also what I wanted to mention is that when you're shooting a um, you know with your camera Adobe RGB or sRGB and you have that setting set on well, that's for shooting TIFFs or JPEGs, which actually do have an assigned profile then, or for getting the preview on your uh, RAW file to be displayed in that sRGB or Adobe RGB. Okay, so when we talk about the actual RAW data, it doesn't have a color profile yet. That's why it says untagged RGB. This is not a mistake, this is actually what happens. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up this image inside of Photoshop which because it's a raw file it will first be intercepted and converted opened up inside of Camera Raw. Now inside of Camera Raw we have now an option to develop this file right and this is based on these options here this little link blue link at the bottom if I click on that here I have if you remember a bunch of settings bit depth size and all that stuff. Well, I'm going to choose, because we're not going to talk about all this, we talked about some of it already. I'm going to switch here to Adobe RGB for source, okay? And I'm going to click OK. Now, here's a very interesting point. The actual data within the RAW file that the, uh, the Lightroom and Camera Raw engine is using is basically a pro photo primaries, in other words, it has the gamut of Profoto, but the gamma of the actual image, the processing, is a linear 1.0 gamma. And this is designed to preserve most of the data as it came out from the camera. Now this is more advanced stuff, so we're going to talk about that in a separate video. Just to keep it simple, that's what the actual camera raw is doing behind the scenes. So it's kind of like a custom-made profile that's used to, to take the most out of the raw file when you're moving your sliders and everything around. There's the processing behind the scenes. But what you're seeing here, the display of this image, uh, the numbers and as well as this histogram, that's all based on the settings you choose here at the bottom. So we have Adobe RGB here. Now this is unique to Camera Raw. It doesn't work like this in, in um, in Lightroom and we'll talk about that later but in Camera Raw when you choose here an option and let's say I choose this uh, actually better I make some changes to the image and you'll see what I mean I'm gonna click and I'm gonna choose a Pro Photo here the biggest one right in terms of gamut and now let me play around with the settings here I'm gonna deliberately introduce a lot of saturation here now two things we're pointing out. First of all, what we preview we see here is based on this option right here. Right? And two, as far as the color goes, this is not really a proper indication. Because even that though yeah, we we are preparing an image and, and managing the color within the image based on this, the real preview we see what we see with our eyes is a limitation to our monitor. So if you have a standard gamut monitor, we see how basically you wouldn't know what's going on. You will still manage the color inside the image, but you wouldn't be able to see the change on screen because your monitor doesn't have that capability. I'm using Adobe RGB type 
wide gamut monitor so as a result I can see more than probably some of you if you have a wide gamut monitor then you will see more of the saturation you know more saturated colors well here's an interesting point uh, what I have just done is I've changed this to Profoto right well here's a really interesting point if I click here and I change this to sRGB which is a lot smaller one you should see an appearance change within the image as well as the histogram so pay attention to that you can see the difference in histogram but we didn't see too much of a change here on the image and this was because I didn't introduce enough of the uh, saturation so let me do that again I'm gonna really increase this uh, and I'm gonna put this in some no, really wacky colors so we definitely get to see some change okay now I'm gonna go to this link once again and I'm gonna switch from Profoto to sRGB now first thing you should definitely see is the change in histogram and you should probably see a change in the appearance of an image as well ah there was a little bit of change in the appearance in some areas and it changed here as well so what does this mean well it means something like this the processing engine of the camera raw is still using its own engine which is Profoto with the linear gamma the one you can't choose in Photoshop unless you make one yourself and this option here basically gives you like a soft proof like a very limiting soft proof option basically tells you how this image would look if you finally click open object or open image and it gets it's going to get uh, processed as sRGB the histogram reflects that as well now I'm gonna leave this to sRGB and I'm gonna click open image when I do it's going to update the settings for that raw file and uh, I think my by the way I think my uh, disk went to sleep you know so it didn't do it right away anyway once it does again because we had our profile uh, you know mismatch settings set up to ask when opening here's what it says the embedded one sRGB that's what we said in, in camera raw when we processed a raw file working one that's Adobe RGB we said that in our color settings for Photoshop remember what do you want to do again and ask us the same thing we want to use the embedded profile right so I'm gonna click OK and it's gonna open it up like this so basically what you just saw if I open up my histogram here I don't know if I can do this but I'll try to I'm gonna open up this image inside of I can't really because I already have it open inside of Photoshop I wanted to show you the the, the histograms so what I'll do is I'll go to image duplicate and I'll create a copy of this I'm gonna delete the original so it's not the same file opened that's how I can open the the uh, raw file again and uh, let's wait till it updates now you see this histogram here Ah, hell, I didn't update the histogram. So I'm going to open it up once again. And you should see a very similar looking histogram. Uh, it doesn't, I mean, this one is kind of like a bigger one, but essentially it's pretty much the same histogram, right? So the idea is that even though we're still working with the actual pro photo linear gamma engine behind the scenes in camera raw the preview of the histogram as well as the preview of the image is based on the settings we choose here at the bottom of this um, this link so if you're using the histogram like I'm working in pro photo or this this is the way uh, camera raw work just so you know the histogram and everything changes based on your output setting okay even though Lightroom and and camera raw are working behind the scenes with all the data it's not sRGB it's all the raw data they can possibly manage so I'm gonna close this 
and uh, that's how you would work with your with your image within um, Camera Raw. That's how the color settings for Camera Raw work there. Oh yeah, by the way, before I end up, I also wanted to change, show you something. Uh, when you click on this button, unfortunately, this is the way. Just you know, it has hardwired inside of um, Camera Raw. Here you only have four options to choose. How do you want to process the image back into into Photoshop? You have Adobe RGB, Color Match, ProPhoto, sRGB. In Lightroom, you only have three. You have all of these, but without Color Match. So what happens if you want to change? If you want to work with your image using the ECI uh, color profile, remember that. Well, then you would have an issue because you can't choose it here. So you would choose probably the biggest one, Pro Photo, in 16-bit and you would click open and then once it opens use the embedded profile and then you would go to edit convert to profile and here you would choose on the profile your ECI and you would probably get a little bit of change as you just saw uh, and then you would click OK because if you had more more saturate uh, more um, more saturated colors which are available in Pro Photo but not in ECI RGB when you do that conversion you would basically get a little bit desaturated colors because it's a smaller color space nothing more that's how you would switch to ECI RGB when you're working with Camera Raw. Fortunately, it's an additional step, and this is because Adobe doesn't allow that. So let's close this, and that's how basically the color settings within Camera Raw work.